Air scouts from Ukraine discovered and struck a 2S-19M Tumstas self-propelled artillery unit belonging to the Russian army in the occupied territory of Kherson region. The combat equipment was destroyed by explosions with the missiles fired from the Baba Yaga drone. Also, the position of the invaders was seriously damaged. The images were taken and shared by the Russian military. The occupiers say that a total of nine shells were fired from the drone into the area. <laughs> Блять, все по башне, да, блядь? Да, все сверху. Блядь. Все сверху, сука. Вон сзади сними, он вся обшивка, он висит. Пиздец, блядь. Видишь? Ага. Видишь, куда я увидел? Выкинула, блядь. Сука. Пиздец, блядь. Пиздец, нахуй. Сверху тоже все уголки похуярены. Видно, нахуй. Первым, наверное, может, ее это оторвал он, нахуй. Считай, ну да, считай, 9 сбросов, блядь, а тут. Каких 9, ты чего? Ну мы считали с гусем 9, на. Germany is preparing to redeploy 800,000 troops to NATO's eastern flank against Russia. Germany is developing plans to ensure that hundreds of thousands of troops could move along an arterial highway, transiting much of the nation in the event of a war with Russia, one leading national newspaper has reported. The Spiegel reported, citing a secret document obtained by the newspaper, that Berlin expects some 800,000 German and allied NATO troops to use its ports, highways and railways to head eastwards if the West's simmering showdown with Russia turns hot in the near future. It is noted that in the event of a Russian attack on NATO's eastern flank, up to 800,000 troops and more than 200,000 pieces of equipment will need to be redeployed through Germany within three to six months. Preliminarily, the main road for military convoys from west to east is the A2 highway, which runs from the city of Oberhausen in North Rhine-Westphalia to Berlin. According to Der Spiegel, the security of this route, its bottlenecks and alternatives are being studied. In particular, the military has concerns about traveling across the Hohenwart Bridge on the Elbe north of Magdeburg. In the event of sabotage or missile attacks on the bridge, the A2 highway could be completely blocked. It is reported that the Bundeswehr, state authorities and the federal government are continuing to work on a plan to redeploy troops. The height of the Cold War years, when several hundred thousand soldiers, particularly Americans, were stationed on Europe's eastern borders, facing Soviet forces, is still a long way off. More than 350,000 American troops were deployed in Europe at that time, compared with 100,000 today. However, troop reinforcements, the construction of military bases and training grounds, and the positioning of anti-aircraft defense systems have led to continuous activity along the 2,500 kilometers of borders between the Atlantic Alliance and Russia. The military reinforcement of NATO's eastern flank is nothing new. It began in 2014 following Russia's annexation of Crimea. The belief that Russia will eventually seek to extend its expansionism westward of Ukraine is now widely held within NATO. Currently, there's no direct confrontation with the Russians. Almost all their ground forces are deployed in Ukraine, said Joris Van Bladel, a specialist in Russian military matters and a senior associate at the Egmont Institute, the Royal Institute for International Relations in Belgium. Субтитры